Hi there, this is Daniel with End Time Country Living. Are you looking for a sturdy tripod that is super versatile and under $100? Well, in this video, I will be reviewing the Mac Trim Bizcane BT80 tripod. So about three weeks ago, I was looking for a tripod that I can mount a high quality video head onto that would support my C100 cinema camera. So I was looking on Amazon for the different options that were available and I was happy to find the Mac Trim 80 inch tripod. So my old tripod didn't have the ability to replace the head with anything better and it was a terrible video head on there. Uh, it also, it only went to about five and a half feet. So I really wanted something that I could get up at eye level or a little above. So I was really happy to be able to find a 80 inch tripod, which is about 6.6 .6 feet, which is great. So it collapses down to only 19 inches for storage. It weighs in at three and a half pounds. It's made of aluminum alloy and it can hold up to 33 pounds of weight. So I really wanted a tripod that I could get down at low levels and change the height of and different angles. So uh, one of the features of more expensive high-end tripods is the ability for articulating legs. I didn't really want one that had uh, support bars between the legs down near the bottom there, like my other tripod had and a lot of other uh, more heavyweight tripods have. So I wanted something that I could bundle up and change at different angles. So this one has that ability. And there's different styles of the um, clickers in here to hold it in place. I really like these that you can just uh, push down and lift up the leg and adjust it, and, or just pull it down and it clicks to the right position. So I can click it to the same position on all of them there. So you can see I can get it down quite low. And one nice other feature of this is that you can reverse the center column here. I set it up like this. The center column releases. And if you remove this part down here, which is the weight uh, hook, so you can attach a weight to it for more stability, but this comes off. And this comes out and we can reverse this thing so we can get a really low angle right up next to the ground if we wanted to. And so you just reverse, the, you put, mount your camera upside down and then you can reverse the video in when you edit it down. And that seems to work pretty good. So you can get, get the camera right down at ground level to do a walking shot as someone's walking towards you or you can walk towards it, things like that. So that makes it a lot gives you a lot more options. So um, the other thing is that these have the nice um, flip lock legs so that you can quickly flip these out within a little bit amount of time, open it up and snap them back down without having to unscrew and re-screw tighten uh, the legs. So I really was looking for a tripod that did that. And also uh, these come with rubber feet, but they also pop off fairly quickly. You don't have to unscrew anything or take time to do that. You just pop them off and you get spikes so that you are on some uh, icy or unsecure ground or something where you're on an angle or something where it might slip. So these give you the nice spikes to do that. They are removable, so you can replace these or uh, put something else on there. Uh, it's a, it's most of the uh, bolts and the uh, nut holes in here are very versatile, um, standardized, either three-eighths of an inch or a quarter inch. So it's very nice to be able to mount all kinds of things on here if you so choose. There's one up here at the top which is going to be a standard three-eighths on the top here. So if you wanted to mount something that's three-eighths up here, you could do that as well. One other nice feature about the legs on here is that this can be turned into a monopod. 
Uh, this is very useful when you're doing kind of a running gun shooting different events very quickly and you don't have time to set up a tripod but you still want to get a stable shot. So there's one of these legs that has that you can unscrew. And again this is a standard screw thread. So this is a 3 8 So we'll take that off and this is another just a 3 8 inch hole there. So if we take out the cincher section here, just by loosening this up and pulling this out, you can now attach this hole to this bolt here. Screw those together. And so now you have a monopod that you can use. So you can position this on the ground here, open these up to the height that you want. And you can set your camera on here. So this has the quick disconnect plate. Now this plate may seem at first that it's going to take extra time to screw it on rather than just pull a lever back and clip it on or to pull something down and slide it in. Uh, but it's actually not that big a deal and it's, it makes you feel that it's not going to fall out. It's nice and secure in the head here. So you can see you can Get nice, some good nice shots here. Nice stable shots where you can hold it nice and secure. And this is very convenient for when you're running around where you can just grab it and go. See a lot of wedding photographers use that. Just something very, you can get a good stable shot with it, even with video. So one of the nice things about this uh, head that's on here, it has a nice uh, panning ability that's nice fluid head on here. So um, you have one, this, uh, one of the, the small uh, black uh, little knob here is for setting the tension on that. So you loosen it up and you can get a nice smooth panning motion off of it. And then you have two of the others. There's a colored one here. This is mainly for securing your ball on there so that it's We'll hold it nice and tight if you have a severe angle and a lot of weight on it. Uh, generally, you just leave it in kind of a loose setting. And the big one back here is your main one. And if you uh, let it loose without hanging on to your camera, your camera will fall, so you need to be careful. Uh, it also has this little notch in here, so you can do a 90 degree angle. So I can go into that little groove there, and you can get a nice vertical shot in portrait mode you're doing uh, photography and then you can adjust it fairly easy it also has a uh, ball, um, bubble level right up here on the head so you can move it back and forth and get it adjusted so you can get that bubble level right in the middle or just back and forth As usually I just look for it to get it back and forth and then you know the, uh, Forward and backward isn't so critical because I'm usually panning and tilting, um, but it does have all that, uh, those four different directions that you can level it in. Uh, but it's very, very good for if you have a kind of a, um, different, when you have the tripod set up and it's not quite level, you can quickly use the ball level here to level it. Uh, one thing that isn't quite so good about it, it does doesn't hold quite as tight as I would like. Sometimes you set it with a heavier camera and it will just kind of droop just a little bit. There's enough play in some of the parts where it's kind of drooping on here. Uh, it's not so bad with a lighter weight camera like this, um, but with my C100, it's you know, some of the other accessories on there. Once you get up about uh, seven, eight pounds, then it starts to you notice a little bit more of the drooping on there. So one other nice feature that I wanted to mention is that it does come with a cell phone attachment, which I didn't have one at all, and so that was a nice thing not to have to spend $10 or $15 to, to get one of these. And so I can just take off the quick release plate it's on the bottom of this camera, and I can attach it to the bottom of this. It screws right in. Get that attached in there. And I can put it up here. Can spin it around like so. And I can put my cell phone in there. 
So this has different angles too. It tightens up and so I can slip just kind of a spring loaded. It should fit with pretty much any cell phone. So you can actually do a 45 degree angle if you wanted to do that. And it has just a little knob on the back here that you can tighten to set the uh, angle of that. And so that also gives you, uh, if you loosen it up here, you can get a nice panning shot with your cell phone. That's a very nice smooth feature. Or you can use, a, you can level it off. Again, you can put it in this little groove here and you can get it down to a portrait shot if you wanted to do that. Uh, but you don't even have to do that because it, it has the ability to just rotate this. So if you wanted a uh, portrait shot, you could just rotate this and lock this in place. So that makes it very easy to just to switch between landscape and portrait mode if you wanted to do that for a photo or something like that. Or if you're doing some vertical photos, you could flip it over and do a video, something like that. So that's one very nice feature of it. And just quickly take that off like that just by unscrewing this. It also has a bubble level on this, which I haven't really found to be terribly useful. Um, but I think it's mainly when you put it into a 90 degree mode like this, then this becomes up and that allows you to level it. So I think that's what it's there for. And so they put a lot of uh, thought into this. They take a lot of ideas from very uh, high quality and expensive tripods and they bring them down to a level that uh, people can afford for under $100. So when you're ready to pack it up, you can just use these levers here to lift it up. And you want to make sure the main part has been brought up to the top. If you have this hanging down, then you want to have it down like this for some reason. You want to make sure this is all the way up. And then you can lift these, push, pull these levers and lift it up like so and it also comes with a small bag that you can put it into it's not terribly fancy but it does a job to protect it from getting banged up and scratched and it has a strap in there so you can have something to hang on to if you've got several things in your hand there we go. Okay, so if you have to feed up just a little bit, then it's not going to fit. So make sure that is all collapsed down. So you got a little bit of a strap here. You can extend it to be about that much. You can put it over your arm or something like that, so you can have both hands available. It's fairly decent, or if you just want to have a little hand strap to hang on to, sit like this to be able to, to carry it all along with you if you like. So it is nice that it actually comes with one. So one of the things that I actually bought this for because I wanted to put a nice video head on here. I wanted to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, dismantle this. One nice thing about this tripod, it does dismantle quite easily. Hang on to this and want to see what do we want to do. We want to take this part off. So we want to first we want to tighten this pan. So then we could do a quick release to take this head off. You know, I was looking online. It's like, well, can I get you know a replacement head for this? A nice ball valve, a more uh, expensive one that's you know better quality and. You know, looking on B&H, they tend to be at least $100, maybe $150, $130, somewhere in that range for, you know, similar functionality. So the outside is metal. The inside appears to be a hard plastic. So um, there's probably a little bit of slippage between the metal and the plastic on here. But for the most part, it's, you know, pretty solid. So you're getting a good value, you know, for, for the... You're getting the features it may not be you know super high quality but it, you're getting something that's very functional so you have a plate this which could even come off so it has a strap here if you don't like the strap that can come off as well this little plate comes off and you get and this can actually be reversed as well so if you want a quarter inch uh, bolt on there you could flip this around so here i have a Bogan slash Manfrotto 
3066. This is a fairly old one that's available. Uh, I was able to get this for about $135 shipped. Um, so you can find, find these fairly readily available. So this has a nice uh, fluid head on here. And this has the 3 8 inch, so I can put that on here. This one is about, uh, about 5 pounds or so for this head. And then I could mount my camera on top here and have a nice uh, professional uh, pan and tilt video head on here. This even has comes with two bars. You can remove one if needed, but uh, this 3066 is a very affordable one, uh, but is you know very good deal for what you get it. You know, very it's actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it actually you know has been a very good video head so far. And this has a nice nice plate on here, and you can put um, different uh, bolts on here. There's actually comes with some bolts on the bottom that they just screw into the bottom plate. And you can put a quarter inch, or a, I have a three-eighths on here because my um, camera has a three-eighths inch hole in there that it can accept it. So this one you can slide in and then there is a little lever that you push down. Like to slide it back to get it to the position you want and then you can release and it'll lock into place. So. so in closing, one of the things as in thinking about tripods, what makes them so nice is that there's three legs. And uh, that reminds me of how there are three parts of the Godhead, whether you have the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And think of how they correlate to, you know, three legs, two part, they're, you know, one tripod, and they're all part of one thing where there's, there's three parts to it, all working together, uh, coming together in the center for one purpose. And it's neat to think about how, you know, the Father ha uh, has someone to love. You know, it has the Holy Spirit and the Son, you know, even back into eternity before anything was created. So before he created the angels and our other worlds, and before he created the earth, they always had somebody to love. And that's kind of the character of God, is that he's always looking to, some, looking to someone else uh, for the benefit of others. And so we see that in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We see them having someone other-centered. So, you know, the Father has the other two to love. And the Son has the other two to love, and the Holy Spirit has the other two to love, and to um, this, you know, working together and you know, working for our benefit. And so, you know, God has created this plan way ahead of time, knowing that there would be sin in our world, and knowing that we need a Savior, we need someone to take the blame and to be a substitute for us. And that's the beauty of it, is that. He loved us so much that he sent Jesus to come and die and pay the penalty for our sin that we have a chance through mercy and grace uh, that we can be saved. And so as we choose every day uh, who we are going to serve, if we are going to ignore God or we are going to acknowledge him and to learn more about him so we can become like him. Uh, as we put these ideas of what he is like in our mind, it changes us and we allow the Holy Spirit to work on our hearts, asking Him into our hearts each morning. So I encourage you to uh, think about what your future is. This world isn't really that great. There's, you know, a tripod, you know, I could talk about it, but, you know, what value is it? You know, in 10 years, 15 years, is it going to fall apart, break, you know, be lost, stolen, all kinds of things? You know, it really doesn't have a lot of value compared to eternity. So put your focus on the right things, you know, do research as far as uh, don't invest in things that are uh, poor quality, uh, that break easily, you know, something that you have to keep replacing, uh, focus on finding something that is fairly good quality, uh, don't overspend, so you want to spend within your means, so if you can't afford a nicer tripod, like I couldn't afford, you know, a $300 legs and then another $200 head, I can't do that. You know, it's too much. 
but I can you know, afford something a little bit nicer. Um, did the best I could as far as doing research. So I encourage you to do your research, but make sure you spend that time with God and don't let the world distract you. All right, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.